Game on. Hey everyone, just want to do a quick little video right here. Uh, we just released a software update 2.04 of the arcade system for the GRS Viper. Now right now primarily the Vipers are in the II arcade uh, system, in the GRS KVM switcher box. I know it's a lot of big words. But one of the things we wanted to always make happen was in the I arcade, I'm going to launch a Donut Dota right here. I'm going to start this game up, put it in, and you have some volume buttons, right? It's very simple. You want to play a game, you want to adjust the volume while you're in the game. Let's start this thing up here. I'm at full volume. I could turn it down and turn it back up, right? So that's fairly simple. But when we made our KVM, we didn't have access to a lot of stuff with IR cakes. They went out of business. So there's some things we couldn't figure out. But thanks to the really diligent work of my team and the arcade guys who write the software, well, we finally got it fixed. It's a two-part thing. Like I said, we just released 2.04 software for the Viper. And that'll cover the II Arcade Viper and the KVM. It'll also cover the GRS Build-A-Cade. We have a lot of features built into that, so we can start releasing Viper for the Build-A-Cade. And the Viper Standalone, if you want to use it anything. We have all these things we finally got put together in there. But one of the things that for the I Arcade community was a little upset about, and understandably, was we switch over here to the GRS Viper mode, we couldn't control the volume. And be, there was a lot of reasons behind that, but with the 2.04 software update, which is on here now, we're gonna release a firmware update, which is very easy to do on our KVM. Basically, it's gonna plug in, I'll do a video on that, on the board, plug into PC, click a button, boom, done. But now, 100%, down. No longer have to go into the back and adjust the volume back there. So we'll have to, so we just gotta make sure the firmware is really solid. So we're working on that, but we release it. But when we do, you can now have all the functionality you had on both sides of the arcade and the GRS Viper in your II arcade system. That's it, it just a quick little video I wanted to do right here showing that we got this finally working and it's really to the hard work of the GRS T6 team, but also arcade. Those guys are phenomenal with the system they're writing here. So we'll be able to release the Viper. You guys can get your hands on one of those play some great retro games with it with all the incredible features that are built into the arcade system with the Viper. But of course, if you have an iArcade, the firmware will be available very soon. It's basically gonna plug a USB cable to your PC to the B port on our KVM. Click on a little icon. Three seconds later, done. And you can do this. Just like that. Thanks for watching everyone, remember, when it comes to GRS and T-Sticks, the big thing we're here to do is to keep retro gaming alive. Not only for old systems, but even systems like this where the company just went bankrupt. We're not going to leave you guys out in the cold. GRS is here for you guys, and that's what makes us different than everyone else. We're here to support you guys, and we'll continue to support you guys. Enough of my ranting. I'm going to play some arcade, and you guys have some fun today, too. Remember to tell your family and friends you love them. Towards our promised! But in between those times, no, man, I'm going to play some Astro Blaster. And game on a little bit right over here. Now that gets just the volume. Put the volume. There we go. Put a coin in. Alert, alert.